Good morning. I want to thank everyone for joining us. Uh, I am pleased to be with Governor Newsom today. Also with me is Dan Torres, Special Assistant here at the Department of Justice. Um, this has become a very frequent site, uh, but we're not going to stop doing what we need to do until and unless the federal government stops trying to change the law by breaking the law. And so we're here today because, once again, this administration has taken an action which we intend to prove in court is, is not permissible by law. It is not per permissible by our American moral standards. And it is not permissible if we want to be an economic power moving into the 21st century. Uh, probably the best way to start is to say something we all know. We have all seen the reports of the conditions at immigration camps. And we've all seen the images of children locked up in cages. The Trump administration is holding children and families in jail-like conditions for weeks. These are individuals, and certainly children, who have not committed any criminal violation. Uh, too often they're being held without sufficient food, health, or even medical care. Children have been forced to go without basic hygiene products that we all take for granted, like soap and toothbrushes. And they are being held in these conditions for much longer than is ever necessary, even when a relative is ready and willing and able to care for those children. No child deserves to be left in conditions inappropriate and harmful for their age. The actions by this administration aren't just morally reprehensible. As I said, they're illegal. Children don't become subhuman simply because they are migrants. All children are God's children. They're our children, and they're America's children, and America never should treat them otherwise. This new uh, Trump anti-Flores settlement rule, and once again, we're talking right now about a rule that the Trump administration has promulgated that would undo what was known as the Flores settlement of more than two decades ago. Uh, this new rule callously puts at risk the safety and well-being of children. It also undermines, a, as I said, a decades-old agreement reached in court by the federal government to prevent the unlawful detention of our immigrant children. Since 1997, the Flores Settlement Agreement has provided the legal guidelines for the treatment of children in immigration custody, including that they should be provided food, drinking water, emergency medical assistance, toilets, sinks, temperature control, supervision, and as much as possible separation from unrelated adults as possible. There's not a thing I just listed off that would you wouldn't expect for your child if you were separated lawfully or unlawfully from your child. As well, the Flores Settlement Agreement calls for the government to release children from immigration detention to their parents, adult relatives, or licensed programs within 72 hours and without unnecessary delay. I guarantee you we will turn up cases where children have been held not just beyond 72 hours, likely beyond 72 days in these detention facilities. This administration has failed to follow the rules. And now they want to rewrite them as well. Last year, the Trump administration proposed a new rule that eliminates several critical protections in the Flores Settlement Agreement. They did that last year. California has been deeply involved in protecting that settlement agreement, the Flores Settlement Agreement, since we, we saw where they were trying to go. But once again, this administration has callous, callously ignored the rights of states and the rights of individuals and the safety and well-being of all these immigrant children. And they moved forward. And that's why today we're moving forward as well. Along with uh, my friend and colleague, the Attorney General of the State of Massachusetts, Maura Healy, and joined with 18 other states in the District of Columbia, uh, California is leading the charge in the defense of children. Those 20 AGs are taking on the Trump administration because we wish to protect children. We wish to protect them from irreparable harm, which may be caused by this unlawful detention orchestrated by the Trump administration. Detention 
which is unnecessary. We are ready to stand up for the Flores settlement in court and defend this decades-old agreement that protects children from things that you and I would never permit our children to ever experience. The Trump administration made the changes called for in this rule without regard to the well-being of these children and without regard to the rule of law. And of course, it should not surprise anyone that we believe the Trump administration is violating the due process clause of the Fifth Amendment in the Constitution. This administration is not above the law. They cannot rewrite the rules to detain children for a prolonged period of time and infringe on the rights of states in the process. We are ready to fight uh, for the most vulnerable among us, and we will do it whatever it takes to protect all of our communities. That's why I'm actually making a second announcement today as well, because today we are also filing a preliminary injunction to stop the Trump administration's un-American public charge rule, which we discussed just last week. Uh, we are going to court seeking that preliminary injunction to keep this rule from going into effect while we make our case in court. Here in California, we are home to more immigrants than any other state in the nation, and we have the fifth largest economy because we are a nation and a state of immigrants. That rule, the public charge rule, would bar the path to citizenship for immigrants and force families to make impossible choices between putting food on the table and reuniting with their loved ones. That rule touches all of America's communities, and it hurts us all. We know we are stronger when we welcome and invest in all of our communities, and we will continue to fight the Trump administration's unlawful immigration policies every step of the way.